All right, we'll have Coach Dowd, and, and you've taken over the helm of the Indians this year, and kind of gauge, what are you seeing for this year for the Indians? Uh, I mean, so far, the kids that we have here, we're a little low in numbers, but the kids that we have have great attitudes. They're working extremely hard. Uh, it's our goal as coaches to get as many reps as we can for as many kids as we can early on as we start to decipher through um, some depth chart stuff. But, you know, being our, our second practice, yesterday was extremely hot. The kids uh, realized and understood that they got to take care of their bodies a little better, make sure they're hydrated and eating healthy and getting sleep and stuff. So uh, we're, we're just trying to take it one day at a time, and uh, we made growth again today, so it was a good day. How do you, how do you knock off the summer rust and get athletes prepared in such a short amount of time? I mean, it's a challenge. I think it stems back to making sure that kids were working hard during the off season and the kids that put the time in the off season, there's going to be less rust to knock off. But as far as, uh, you know, you know, we're learning new defensive concepts with our with our new uh, 34 look. And then offensively, we'll also have a, di a little bit of a different look just because we have different personnel this year. So it's coming together nicely. You take it one practice at a time um, and just try to get really good uh, at a few things. And then you, you continue to build. And to this point, we've been able to do that. So I, the school board's going to be talking about a, an agreement with, I think, Tri-County over football, sharing yeah. football. Uh, your thoughts about that potentially happening with the Indians? I mean, I, I see the, the kids that are at Tri-County, they, they need a home for football, you know, kids that want to play football. I put myself in their shoes, and I would sure hope that a neighboring school would uh, – would invite us in and so that's what we're going to do for those kids and we actually we only have two of their brothers uh eli and levi molinex mm. um that are going to join us but we're extremely happy to have uh eli and levi and if there are any other um tri-county kids out there that are just on the fence you still have a couple days to make that decision and, and get over here but you're more than welcome to join us you're going to be a part of our Oscars football family and then we're just going to keep moving forward so we kind of talk about the numbers and, and they're, they're down. Are you seeing that nationwide for football or, or is there something a little bit different here maybe? Yeah, I think in general, I mean, just kids get pulled so many different directions with so many different sports these days. Um, it's not the same as when I was going through. We had, we had 40 kids in my sophomore class um, alone that played football. Um, and now we're looking at anywhere from, you know, we're averaging right around 15 kids per class. So it's our goal. At, ask you that we want to get back in that 20 25 range just because we need kids out you need a lot it takes a lot of numbers to to make for a good football team because at practice you got to think about scout teams and getting kids reps at all levels and uh, so it's made for some challenging um, situations but we're, we're going to make the best with the kids we have and like i said earlier the kids we have that are here really want to be here um, so they're working extremely hard and i love the group that we have it's the start of the school year everybody's kind of got to be excited Everybody loves football season. Any, any last thoughts you'd like to share with the fans of Austin? I mean, we're just excited to be out here. It's blazing hot this, this week, but we know that fall is right around the corner and um, the, the community loves the game of football. And we just want to thank you for all of your support. And when we get out there the 27th of August um, at Atoma, we hope to see a bunch of Oski Indian football fans there and um, just cheering us on.